eats and eats and eats and trees. Little savory and sweet bites are a necessity for a successful tea menu. This all-purpose, gluten-free recipe lets you be versatile and creative, and you'll surprise your guests with each and every tiny bite. Today we are making patishu. This is a simple recipe with only five ingredients, and it's very versatile where you can do savory or sweet um, little mini bites. So today we have our ingredients here. We have eight tablespoons of butter, four eggs that I'm going to be whisking, one cup of gluten-free flour, one cup of water, and we're gonna be using a quarter teaspoon of salt. Here I have my butter that has already been melted. I'm going to add our salt, as well as our water. And we're gonna to wanna to bring that to a rolling boil. And then we are going to incorporate our flour and mix that with a wooden spoon. So now that we have a full boil, we are going to remove our pan from the heat. We're gonna add in all of our flour. We're gonna mix that with our wooden spoon until we have a cohesive mass. And so you start to see it kind of forming together into a ball. Now we can bring it back to the heat. We're gonna to wanna to turn our heat down to about low medium. And keep stirring that until you have a nice film on the bottom of your pan. As you can see there, we're starting to get a little film there. We're just about ready. Now we're ready to bake these. Now that we have our pate choux dough all mixed together, we're going to add it into our mixer here. Now you're gonna want to beat that for about two minutes with the paddle attachment. Make sure it's nice and cool. On about medium speed. All right, now that we've allowed that to cool, as long as you can feel through your bowl and it's um, not burning hot, um, we can slowly start to add our eggs um, about two tablespoons at a time, nice and slow, and let's get started. All right, now that we have a really nice dough here, I am going to pipe this out onto our parchment sheet pan here. Here I have made um, a, about a two inch round template here. So that way all of your eclairs, if you're making a sweet pate choux um, or your vessels for your savory are all the same size. Now I love pate choux. I um, also know of a great recipe where you can make this savory. You can fold in any savory ingredients that you'd like. You can do like a Parmesan Gruyere cream puff. Those are great uh, as an appetizer for any gathering that you might be having. Um, I just love this recipe because it's so versatile. And also, if you are making uh, eclairs with this recipe, we have omitted the sugar in this recipe, but you can find the sweet recipe on Joy Eats and Treats where we have added the sugar, and then that is great for eclairs. All right, here. We're just gonna pipe this. 
kind of just want to go in a circle and give it a little pressure. And then we're going to go back over these with a warm knife just to kind of smooth out all of the edges. All right, now that I have my pate choux piped out here, I'm going to use a spoon with some warmed water to smooth them out so they come out nice and uniform. So you just wanna press down in the center there, and then you can just use your fingers here and just kind of just make them all uniform, a nice round circle. And the warm water just helps um, make the process a little easier. Now if you still have some of the marks from piping, that's okay. We just, we really want them to just be round and uniform. Now that we have our pate choux ready to bake, we are gonna put these in the oven at 400 degrees until they are nice golden brown. Here we have our finished pate choux. It's a nice golden brown. We have made these for our Easter tea picnic and we are gonna be using these for our tea sandwiches. I have baked them for 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then we turn down the oven to 350 degrees and finish them for another 15 minutes and I have gone ahead and I have sliced them half so that way they are ready to use for our tea sandwiches. Thank you for watching the Joy Holiday channel. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure to turn on your notifications so you can get notified when we have new videos. Please leave your comments. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Happy Easter, and we'll see you next time.